Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back, and we're going to get into a fight I'm really interested in now. I wasn't highly intrigued by it before, uh, but I am now. This is a really good-looking prospect. The fight in Japan, a Tekken, a Tekken, Tekken Promotions, Mr. Honda card. Um, the main event is really intriguing to me. Uh, two undefeated prospects, Rodex Piala, am I saying that right? And Kenji Fujita. I've been studying the tape because I, I found this fight intriguing. Two undefeated prospects. One of them is really good. We're going to find out who that is in just a minute. Before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Book comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to make money betting on the sport of boxing. All right, let's get... Also, uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Just five dollars a month gets you a lock in a week. It's a good lock this week. I like it. And the odds are going crazy, so lock in now. I'm also giving you all an update on how to bet the props in a couple of fights. I think there's good prop betting that can be done, uh, and I want to show you the props that we can bet that we can make money on. Um, yeah, you have to join the Patreon for that. In, in the Wilder fight and in the Ball Ford fight, there are good props. The props are better than the actual money line on the fight. So check out the Patreon for that. Spiles a month to get you a lock of the week and to get you a bunch of other great tips that's not available on the channel. Also, subscribe to your other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. <laughs> okay. And you guys, you got to help me with this name. Rodex Piala. I think I'm saying that right. I don't know. Filipino featherweight, 10 and 0. He's not the one. 10 and 0, one knockout, which is surprising because they call him the tank. And you understand why they call him the tank. He's got massive calves, like Manny Pacquiao calves, boxer, puncher, straight up and down. Like I said, massive calves. Like he looks like Pacquiao from the knees down. Uh, strong. He sits down on his punches. I, I don't know why he doesn't get any stoppages. Not a heavy volume guy. Like I said, physically strong, powerful legs, selective with his shots. Almost too selective. I think he's too selective with his, stop, his shots. He stays behind a high guard. His elbows tuck. So, yeah, he's pretty basic. Pretty basic boxer puncher without a ton of power. He doesn't knock people out. He doesn't really sit down. On his, he doesn't really uh, put his punches together. It's a lot of one punch at a time. Way too much one punch at a time. I feel like his shots are fairly hard, though, and he likes to come forward. Like, for a guy who's 10 out, you would think with his build, he'd have more knockouts. Because he doesn't throw – like, he turns his punches over. He throws decent punches. I'm not sure why there's nothing on him. You can see the, the, the power would come from his legs. He's not knocking people out. Fairly mobile and athletic. You're not, not a world-class athlete. Not, not, you know, not a, an amazing athlete. Uh, but he's fairly mobile. He, he, he can come forward. He's got decent movement, not good off the back foot. He wants to come forward. You can get him on the back foot. You can have him. Doesn't jab enough. He's not good off the – so you can see the flaws. He doesn't like volumes. He will show up if, if you kind of overwhelm him with volume. Not enough uh, combinations. Doesn't have great speed in the hands. He doesn't – he's just – he's not it. He's 28, 29, so he's not going to really get better. I think he's 29. Yeah, he's 29. I'm looking at it right now. He's not really going to get a whole lot better. This is him maxed out at 29. Like he's in his physical prime right now. Not a bad fighter. You know, on a 1 to 10, he's a 7. I'll tell you who's not a 7. And that's Kenji Fujita. I'm a big fan of this featherweight. Undefeated, 6 0, 3 knockouts. South or beautiful, straight punches. Like he does not pull his punches. They're straight down the pipe. Fairly long, great footwork, works his angles. He's in, he's out, he's attacking from angles, and he's out of position to be hit, but he's still in a power punching position to hit you. Good combos, good movement, does not does not stand in front of you. It is like, uh, you know, he's not anything like Bam Rodriguez, but just his feet. His feet are never in front of you, right? Like he's at an angle, and you just can't hit him in return. This is a really good prospect. This is a prospect that I like quite a bit. Terrific counter puncher. He he's willing to stay in the pocket. Like I said, he, he throws from a barrage of angles. Really excellent counter puncher. Not huge power, but he lands clean and accurate shots that land on the button. So they have more effect than what they look like. Well, he probably doesn't have great one punch power, 
but his shots land so clean and so flush that they it adds to the, to the power. It adds to it. Again, good volume. He keeps his he keeps his punches pumping. He keeps him out. He keeps him in your face. He keeps you uncomfortable. And then he's just giving you another look, giving you another angle. Really good at distance, and he's really good at maintaining distance. He's got great feet. Like that's what you're gonna notice about him, as well as a straight, crisp, clean combination. Overwhelms you with, with clean punches. He doesn't. He's relentless with it from range. Right. He's not like a typical pressure fighter where he's on you. He's letting his hands go from range. And, he's, and his feet are getting out of the way. This is a prospect that I really, really like. If I was signing a prospect, uh, I mean, this is this is an all world prospect. I really, I really think that. All right, let's get into the book. Let, there's not a ton to make on this fight. You guys obviously know which way I'm reading, leaning from the breakdown. This is going to be a simple bet. There's no props on this. I, I don't know if I like him to stop him. Although I feel like this might be a stop. There's no props on it. This is a great bet to add to a parlay. This is a really, really good bet to add to a parlay. Uh, it's minus 200. It's, mi- it's uh, minus 1,400. A $200 bet is going to make you 50, 14, 28. Okay. That's where the money is. Uh, look, add this to your parlay. It's easy money. It's going to bring down your odds a little bit. This is really, really easy money. I'm a big fan of this fighter. I think he's a highly talented prospect. And I think Rodex Piala is basic as hell. I don't think there's much to him. I don't think he's a bad fighter by any means. He's just there's levels to this. And I think Fujita is like a nine out of ten fighter, and Piala is a seven out of ten fighter. I, I think Fujita is going to be a future world champ. We'll, we'll learn more as he goes through the levels and, and stuff. But I think this is sort of a mismatch, and I think the odds kind of indicate that. I often kill the bookies for not knowing the odds, but this is pretty good. This is going to be a one-sided beatdown. Add it to your parlay if you want to add it to Giovanni Marquez. You want to add it to Dimitri Baval, what have you. It's not a bad It's not a bad line. It's not a bad line at all. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Join the Patreon. Get get those, those props that I'm talking to you about. You want to get those props to the Patreon. Just $5 a month. Get you a lot of week. It gets you a ton of other perks. $5 a month. Get you all the perks that you can handle. Uh, get your free t-shirt. There's a ton of stuff involved. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, join the Patreon link. is in the description. It is May 31st now, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.